The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things that we've promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher. For you have learned much from one another these past few years. Now you shall say a few words that you will take across a threshold of life, and things will never quite be the same between you. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband and this is my wife. My beloved speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. For now the winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines are in blossom, they give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. Set me a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm, for love is strong as death, passion fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. If one offered for love all the wealth of one's house, it would be utterly scorned. Harry, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. And all that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Francesca, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. And all that I am, I give to you. And all that I am, I give to you. In the presence of God and before this, the congregation, Harry and Chesie have given their consent and they've made their marriage vows to each other. They've declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Yay! Oh, lovely. This way, the night was long and the sky was gray. And I wondered if I would always feel lonely. The winter chill is in my sight. I also taught us a new language. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to uh, Richard and Harry practicing the art is fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ches and Harry are sharing the same interest and their perfect couple made for each other. Could you please be upstanding? Toast the bride and groom, Ches and Harry.
Harry asked me to be his best man. He didn't actually say, will you be my best man? He's a bit special and he got a bit confused and he said, would you walk me down the aisle? <laughs> um, I had to break it to Harry that that's not what happens. Chessie walks down the aisle um, and she did a fantastic job and she looks absolutely beautiful today. Yeah, we've known each other for so long. We've known each other for so long, I can't exactly remember the first time we met. What I do remember though is thinking, well, she's a little bit odd and she talks a lot. Has it changed? I still think that now, to be honest. But that's just two more reasons why I love you so much. Sets me free. 